We are seeing a downturn in the number of COVID-19 cases, but in some areas we're seeing a spike in influenza and other illnesses. Fox 13 News reporter Amy Nay spoke to parents and caregivers and got a doctor's advice on what you and your family should be doing. At least the last month we've gone from one kid to another and when you have a lot of kids that makes for a lot of sickness. Nona Dyring is a registered nurse and a mom of six, her youngest in kindergarten. Before it's like if my kids obviously had a fever or were throwing up, you knew to keep them home. But now those things like coughs or you're nervous to send them back because you don't know really like the correct thing to do. We have had influenza twice in my house. We've had strep. We I got COVID. Um, none of my kids did, strangely. But it just keeps coming and now we have just like the common cold. Marcy Childs also has six kids. She ran a daycare center in Gunnison, now an early childhood educator for other child care providers across Utah. I was just teaching a class with 20 providers that are across the entire state and they were saying the same things like the kids are just sick. This is the flu season. So kind of November to March is usually when we see influenza. Um, and it has typically will have a spike or two in that period of time. And uh, we're certainly within that spike of influenza currently. Dr. G.J. Wilden is an emergency room physician at Gunnison Valley Hospital in central Utah, where he says, fortunately, they've seen a decline in COVID, but an increase in other illnesses. I think it's just the nature of this time of year. We just we just see a lot of infectious disease. So what what are some reminders for all of us maybe right now? Um, you know, wash your hands. Um, and like I said, avoid others when you're sick. Um, and most of these illnesses are going to run their course without, you know, having to even go see your doctor. But he says you should seek medical attention when you have difficulty breathing, are dehydrated, if you can't keep food or liquid down, or if your fever goes above 103 degrees and isn't responsive to medication. Meantime, many moms like Nona are just trying to get everyone in their household healthy and back to school. It's been hard because we're already in such a like world of panic from COVID and I think we're throwing influenza and strep throat and your normal just gastroenteritis and your normal croup and all those types of things. And it's been really hard. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah.